Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and the Lunar Treasure event is coming to a close and one of the things I wanted to do over the last two weeks but didn't do before uh, for partially good reason because it currently took me several hours to do it was to make some make a math breakdown and do some calculations and I was wondering originally if to do it like with a side by side you know uh, PC screen and uh, phone but I actually uh, went and did it in on my PC in a spreadsheet. Uh, if you go to the Crescent uh, Moon Moon Lunar Treasure channel on my Discord, uh, which you can find in the description, uh, or if you use the link directly, you can go to the spreadsheet, uh, which you can find here in the channel. Or I made these two images to make it a bit simpler, which are missing some of the lines and stuff. But I'll be talking about these things, and uh, I'll try to explain it uh, what I was doing here, uh, at least a little bit, and so, so what my conclusion was. So uh, and there is here is a little bit more complicated version which actually explains the math down there, like what the hell was I counting there? Okay, so let's go. Uh, the chances here, which are written there, I took from the game from the information here, the rewards, and from the reward info here. However, we do not know what exactly the ranges and the chances for those ranges for the star vouchers are, for example, okay? If we open a premium chest, which we get 6.5% uh, of the time when we refresh out of each chest, and there is nine chests each time, uh, which is how I came here to the price of uh, you know, our the average that we have 0 0.585 premium chest per each refresh because there is nine boxes and uh, the average uh, price per the uh, chest is gonna be 213 uh, or 214 cores including the 60 used to open it. So it's like 153 on average to find one. Uh, if I didn't make some mistakes, it's possible I could have made some mistakes because I'm just so so tired at this point but yeah anyway so that's how I was counting it and I was also counting the same thing for the rare treasure chests for the silver ones however uh, after counting it I realized that it would only work if we are like searching for them and getting no premiums but we are already pretty much paying for the premiums so what we are c comparing is the average we get for premiums compared to opening the rare ones just for 60 because we don't do the extra refreshes we don't pay any extra refreshes to get the rare chests so we can pretty much ignore that actually but as i said we do not know like what the chances are to get the 15 to 100 we get so these calculations in the in like the color here uh, are called average minimum because it's the Mm, we'll count with the average uh, with the minimum that uh, you get which is 15 for premium uh, for red chests or five for blue chests or one for regular chests and i just ignore those because those are just crap okay so i just ignore those those would only be interesting for people who would be going for these extra rewards here by just doing open all all the time however i do not think that's a good idea uh, for most people because you would have to sp still spend a lot of money like for me even now if i wanted to reach this one i would still need to spend some more money because i would need 74 more i actually had that somewhere here but uh, i got deleted okay i would need 74 more uh, times 60 which would be 74 times 60 sorry times 60 would be 4440 which I don't have, so I'd have to buy like, I'd have to buy a few more here, I'd have to spend like seven more dollars to get that. And as you can see in that thing, I would be losing out on a lot of vouchers from there, from actually opening proper chests, so it would still not be worth it. So we're gonna go and do this, and do this, and hopefully show the thing that I wanted to show, but not really, I guess. Okay, this is pretty nice. So let's go and show it a little bit, if I can find it. Yeah, this is the thing. So the I have been I have only been able to get 15 or 30 out of the red boxes, and we don't actually know if there is anything. I I don't personally know because people didn't reply to me when I asked them if there is anything between 30 and 100, and we don't know the chances. So I went partially by this, and by what we know about them in general. 
So my guess is, and from the, what I saw as well, because I got it three times now, I think, from around 30 of those boxes on my both my accounts. So I'm guessing that the chance to get double, to get 30, is around 10%. It might be 9%, it might be 10 uh, with the chance to get 100 probably being 1%. So that is what I actually counted with when I was doing this, uh, you know, math here. So I actually counted it uh, when I did, uh, where is it, the, my guess with edit. I added the extra, uh, I wrote it somewhere here, here. Okay, I wrote it down there, but like, um, yeah, down there. Anyway, so I added a bit extra vouchers for that. And uh, first when I counted it, I actually did too much because I forgot to multiply it by the chance, by the uh, chance to get the star vouchers. Because we only get the star vouchers 48% of the time when we open a premium chest, right? But uh, for, the, for this one, it's gonna be very similar, except it's going to be uh, less, right? You're gonna be you're doing five, you're gonna be getting five or ten, but you can still get up to a hundred, and we don't know how much that is. So, like, we don't know what the percentage for that is at all. I don't know. I haven't seen it at all. So it could be one percent as well, or it could be lower. So I sort of like did it here just by like plus x that it could be like around four. Okay, it's not gonna be more than four, in my opinion. Vouchers on average. Um, yeah, so there is that. And I can now see already that I actually made a mistake because, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I counted it when I counted it here. I counted it with 3.51. 3.31 to 3.51. I didn't count it with like 4. So if it was 4, then you would be paying uh, only 15. So yeah. the Basically what I came to is that it would have been a little bit better to open the silver chests than the red ones. Four star vouchers. I mean, not better than opening. We all, of course, want to open the red ones, but better to open them for free whenever we get them than to save the lunar cores for refreshes on the last day for 90. So, for instance, in this case, I should actually open all of these rather than uh, try to make the refresh, right? Because right now I paid, I paid, what was it? I paid 300. And I got 15 of these and 20 extra shards, which would basically be us getting two red ones. But when I refresh, I don't get an average of two red ones. I get an average of half of red one. So yeah. Anyway, that's the there is the math behind that in the spreadsheet. And uh, here is the if you're wondering like the thing there with the three vouchers and one voucher here for the lunar surprises. That's here because the Lunar Surprise chest has gives an average of two vouchers. So there is that as well. I don't think... I think I only actually saw the Lunar Surprises though once in this. Only once, I think. So that is... You know, that's a bit sad, I guess, but whatever. At any rate, uh, I'm gonna be doing a live stream later of this. And I just actually spent a bunch... I guess I could just go and finish it, to be honest. I guess I could just go and finish my Lunar Treasure. Uh, maybe. Maybe I could just go and finish it, actually. Instead of doing a live stream later. But people like live streams. Some people. So I, I will just wait for that, to be honest. But yeah, so there is that. So my recommendation is uh, open all the blue slash silver boxes as well. Unless there is one more edit thing. And that is that if you go for red ones, you have a little bit, you have a bit higher chance to get the base decor effect, of course. Because, but you're still, you still need to open uh, or the base skin choices. You still need to open 1,000 premium chests, which would mean that you would have to do like 2,000 refreshes. So, which would be so, so, so much money. Okay, you can have a see here. There is a thing that uh, one of my viewers posted on the first day, and I posted it as well back then. And uh, basically, we would, you know, like uh, we would you would have to pay an insane bunch of extra stuff uh, to get that. Uh, I said 2000, right? So that would be 2000 times 90, no. Yeah, 2000 times 90, it would be like 180,000. So yeah, no, not happening anyway. 
um, yeah, <laughs> to get like the an average of one uh, choice chests. So yeah, that being said, uh, that is my recommendation. Just go and open all the blue ones that you can, and of course, open all the red ones as well. But it's better to open the blue ones than to save than to just do refreshes for the red ones. Uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah. And even if, as I said, though, it's it's like a bit messed up because we don't actually know what the chances are. But even if they are lower, even if like I even if we counted just the minimum, it's not gonna be that much of a difference, okay? So because even if we count only the minimum, it's still seventeen uh, cores per ticket, and here. Even if I do edit, it's 18.69, so it would actually still, like, even even if we don't, uh, sorry, 18 here. So even if we don't uh, add any vouchers for the extra stuff, like for the extra chances, it would still be a little bit cheaper than the premium chess if you're going for those vouchers. So yeah, um, that's it from me with the breakdown of the Lunar Treasure. And until next time, thank you for watching. And have a, please like, share, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. And, you know, in a few hours tune in for the live stream after I take a bit of a nap for a few hours because I'm super dead. It's, uh, I forgot to mention, a disclaimer, it's entirely possible that I made some mistakes because I'm like so super toast, okay? I got home at 3am and then I was like doing things a few hours to like recover. And then I started working on this and doing a little bit of a leak video before as well to, you know, get moving a bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and until next time, as I said, like, share, subscribe and have a wonderful day.